Welcome back. Some of you may be shocked to learn it was not Nathan messaging me, but Fow. He's apparently taken over Nathan's job, but anyways. Here to commence liberation rite. Time has come for your second liberation rite. You observe the low minstrel and Wolfred speaking in hushed tones, but cannot sense the topic. Wolfred looks up at you. I trust you feel prepared as possible, my girl. Each rite is consequential to our journey in its own respects. Fucking foul. Oh, the liberation rites have a more immediate effect. It's, um, it's somewhat crass, however. I've gone estimated by how much each of your companions may contribute to the outcome of our plan, should they be liberated here. Factors such as their previous occupation, innate tendency to lead, and oratory skill contributed to my assessment. It's something personal, for we all are on this together. I'm going to bet Tizo's pretty low on that. Besides, we all ought to return in time, if possible. No, simply that... Oh my god. No, simply that for each of us who goes, in doing so, he or she shall raise our total chance of success. I mean, Jody's already... Covered like 30% of it. Greener Madam, this night shall confront the withdrawn, and they have already appointed. Ugh. Umd Milch to be liberated should they manage to prevail. We have faith in you, my girl, and lo. Even the stars agree on this account. Hey, Skip Johnson. God damn it, foul! I hope you watch this episode and see what you're doing to me. Oh, right, this this shit. Uh, what does this do? Uh, adversary shall each have plus eight hope making their... Okay, that one I can live with. Adversaries... I'd rather not pick that, actually, so... I'll be good with just that one, thank you. See, that I can live with. Them coming back quicker is not an issue. No, I'm wrong, I like seeing him banished, but, eh. Return to the Commonwealth and glory, they can no longer aid you in the rites. The they can pray for us. Unto the fall of Solium, at which the scribes first formed their sacred union. <laughs> the worm's got the book on his head in the statues. That's great. Because I saw them all holding books, and I'm like, what's the worm doing? Heads on his head. Liberation right. Your many adversaries all did strive to earn this opportunity. Was the withdrawn which earned it? Who shall be absolved is up to all of you. Pyrus Burn, so like nobody wants the withdrawn to win, right? Everyone hates those guys. Except maybe the withdrawn. Pyrus Burn, each triumphant is present and prepared. I concur the Pyrus Burn, each. Uh, uh. Then the anointed one of the withdrawn come forth now and declare yourself and pay any respect unto your adversaries, the Nightwings. Hey again. Oof. Bog Dweller Udmilde appears from the shadows and reaches for a mask. We are no we are known to be which whatever. Our adversaries. They are nothing to us or the one we serve. Ye shall be devoured in the coming age, an age of strife wrought down by the fell wings of many seeing eyes of ye slack, the astral born. You speak blasphemy upon the sacred right. If you value your liberty, then I suggest you cease your mocking of the scribes. Scribes, they fail to stop ye slack, ye shall rise again. As for ye night wings, ye are of no consequence to ye sack's grand design. So, like, do I even have to beat her? Soon we shall return to the land which ye sack shall usurp. Where we shall offer him our blood and that of many, many others. Minus 20! Bitch. Now then, of the Nightwings reach decision. Reader, I am bound to tell you once more. First companion whom you choose shall go free this very night if you prepare. Only the Yeah, I got it. Only the Enlightened Miss may be thus anointed. Not all among you may be ready. The other two chosen for our trip shall lend their aid. Nightwings make your decision. <sighs> would you set free? Yeah, okay, I got it. So, unworthy. Pamitha's unworthy all of a sudden. And he's still unworthy. Good. Okay, well, I say good. Pamitha was worthy last time, but has since become unworthy. That's interesting to me. Do they have looks of sadness about them? I think they do. Like, she looks angry. His eye looks like it's swelling up like he might cry. He looks, eh. And Rookie's like, yeah! And everyone else. Like, why, Tizo? <laughs> really? Like, uh, seriously, no. We're we're anointing Rookie, obviously, but why Tizo? Don't get me wrong; he's a nice guy and all, but he was born here. What? He, he wasn't. He didn't commit a crime or anything. They're, he's gonna get back, and everyone up there is gonna be like, really? 
Also, aren't we supposed to see, like, percentages of how much they'll help us? Because I'm not seeing... Is it bio? No? Yeah, no, I'm not seeing this, uh... How useful they'll be. Fast talker, throw Zora top speed. Yeah, not a clue. Not a clue. But whatever. We're anointing him. Good choice there, sister. Though if I get out of here, I don't know what you're going to do without me. To be honest, Rookie, I'm going to miss you. Probably a little more than Jodariel. I miss Jodariel. Don't get me wrong. She was great. But, uh... Pretty cool, Rookie. I'm going to... You're one of you're one of my chums. You were there when I was found, you know. Who shall lend him support? <sighs> Anyways, Pamatha's on deck to lend support. Cause she's great. Sure, let's get him out of here then. And I'm thinking Shay. Shay. Ooh, I can help, I think I can help. It is done. Okay, you know the drill here. If at any point it looks like I'm going to lose, I'm immediately restarting this right. Because this is, this is the big one. This is the big one, and I refuse to lose. Can't be stopped. Soon ye slack, very sloon, sloon. We shall release thee. We shall release thee. And as for ye night wings, we shall have much in store for ye. I like how she has imps as her compatriots. Uh-oh. Imps. That could be bad for me. Oh, fuck. Ah, the music, it's so good! Ah, I forgot what the button was. Ah! Okay. Damn it, I'm partially distracted by such good music. Yes! Suck it. Steal part of my pyre in the beginning. Fucking A! Nice. Good job, Shay. Fuck, this music is so good. I'm considering actually buying the soundtrack mostly just for this song. Hey, you do you, witch. Figured that. I keep forgetting it's W to fly. I keep pressing space, like thinking that'll be jump. Why did he throw it? I keep pressing space thinking that'll be jump. We suck, we invoke thee, for we seek thy ancient strength with our enemies within blood, damnation of the nightwings, damnation of the scribes. The invocation of Yislak, your adversary's curse, summon forth dark pools of banishing Iker. Wheresoever any exile is banished here this night. Well, that's not good. Nice. One more hit, and I wanted to go to Pamatha. Mostly just so I can prove I'm not dumbass. There we go. No! Shit. Ah, uh, they get plus five on theirs. Damn them. Shit. She does 30. I have 31 left. But she's gone now, so, I mean, really. Shit. Fuck. Okay. Getting a little sick of this. And there it is. 
Nice. The night wings proved their worth. Alright, little got close at the end there. The same cannot be said. Well. It's been nice knowing you, Rookie. The liberation right. And thus the scribes have chosen. The exile appointed by the night wings shall be free. Absolved of all misdeeds. Return to glory in the Commonwealth. His adversary and all others shall remain to carry out their rightful sentences. Sucks to be you. Know that this affront against the slack has been recorded. His vengeance shall darken the skies. Yeah, whatever. I think the doll. Yeah, yeah. The Kerr statue in the back there is raising. And I think Jody's did the first time too. So uh, what now? You saw what happened to Jody. Guess I'm just supposed to jump in this waterfall thing and go back. Then that's it. Home free. Home free. Something crosses over him then. Now listen to me, chums. Don't think any of you are gonna miss me. Too late. You're gonna do just fine, even without old Rookie Greentail there to keep an eye on all of you. Even though the rest of you are just a bunch of slow pokes and all that. Yeah, I'm gonna be so busy drinking myself silly on Commonwealth stock, I'm sure I'm soon gonna forget each and every one of you. Thanks, bro. Just in case I don't, you be sure to stop by and visit when you get back there, too. Just look for Mama Greentail shop, right? In the heart of town, you can't miss it. So yeah, stop by and say hi, you know. Now, uh, I think I gotta go, so... Excuse me. Drops into the shimmering pool and disappears within, although you can still hear him going on about something. Well, let me tell you, this is weird here. It's starting. Uh oh. Wait, wait, wait! May return in glory. <laughs> He's flipping. Oh, I thought he was, like, spinning out of control. I thought it was, like, the most un ungraceful freedom fly ever. <sighs> she leveled up. Nice. Good times, I need to say thanks for having me along this strange little journey of yours, Rita, darling. Pamitha's starting to grow on me. Choose mastery for Pamitha. What have we got? Uh, permanent gains eight quickness. Ooh. Uh, yeah, this is saluting. That's pretty good. I'm actually going to go with the permanent plus eight quickness. Which is very good, since I imagine that'll apply to her flying as well. Until the turning of the stars, farewell. Our merry band grows smaller. Unless we get more people for me to consider freeing. Uh, running out here. Well then. The withdrawn and on mercy. Return to the wagon after having prevailed against the withdrawn in the Wibbler liberation rite. It's one less mouth to feed. You think Rookie is already home? We succeed in liberating Rookie, who returned to Commonwealth and glory. We did what we could. With each liberation rite, we strive to advance our plan. A brighter future awaits the end of the path. For now, we must persevere. Speaking of which, reader, I take it you have seen the stars, which is say the lack thereof. You have, or did. Once more, sky is abyssal. Abyssal. Following the liber liberation. Why am I having trouble saying liberation? No stars illuminate themselves to guide you further on your path. And let us go once more to the Moonlight Alcove. I have an errand I must run besides once we arrive. Best we recover now and make our way southward at first light. No headwind, huh? No comment on how the two people he journeyed with are now free. Reasonable likeness of Rukia's mother and uncle. May they have reunited by now. Left your bone, huh, Rukia? Maybe that's why I was saying wait. That'd be funny. Eating with Tizo, having a look around outside, nearby, looking for food, eating with Hedwin, strumming a tune, tidying up, and pacing endless aimlessly. Let's read the book first. Shall we? Uh, the Withdrawn. The Withdrawn did spawn forth from the Wild Witch Meleth, who 
in whose vigilant pursuit of the unknown and the unknowable I always felt a certain kinship. Whether the withdrawn were elites kin by blood or merely worshippers, we trusted one another not to ask or care. What mattered was that Malith chose the most audacious minds, who stopped at nothing short of the impossible. Though ever distant, the withdrawn revealed to us such truths about the land which lay long hidden, even to one such as I. Their knowledge of ever waking in newfound depths of consequence, they led us to better know ourselves. Really? They seem like a bunch of douches. On Mercy. Mercy is the beating heart of a truly free society. Mercy, even for the perpetrators of the darkest deeds. As our liege Salim Mur drifted into the ocean of regret, he found their mercy, or rather it found him, and it saved his life. Mercy, freedom, they are intertwined. A society which raises a clenched fist, fist against its own shall follow the doomed path of the Empire of Sar. Uh, ours shall be a merciful society. May the perpetrators of the darkest deeds be sent to join us here, where they may learn as we have. Mercy shall engender union among our different kind. We shall stand shoulder to shoulder equals in the same society. All right, then. What's on your mind, Gilman? After the liberation rite, you find Sir Gilman in an uncharacteristically quiet and contemplative mood. He salutes you with... He salutes you crisply with his tail. Glory to you, Master Reader, and glory to the noble rookie Greentail. Long may he prosper in the Commonwealth. And in doing so, may he benefit to the plan. I need to check that. Into which we have all been thrust. Then he falls silent for a time. You sense him growing very emotional. In Noble Rookie, this knight found a kindred spirit, Master Reader. Yeah, I'm gonna miss him too, buddy. One of questionable honor, the greatest cunning, and such blinding speed as to befit a minstrel's tale. This knight fears our triumphant lost something irreplaceable to him. Of course, this knight is also pleased Rookie has retrieved his freedom, very much so. I feel the same way, Gilman. You know, he was great, I love him, I'll miss him. But I'm pleased he got what he wanted, you know? And furthermore, this knight shall now continue training even harder than before. Rookie Greentail, this knight shall train on until such a time as he is swifter than the jagged lightnings of the Deathless Tempest. Uh, ah. Now, Master Reader, this knight must beg his leave of you. For it is time, not for... For it is time, not for his rest, but for his training. Know that he is very grateful to your wisdom and guidance in the rites. Between yourself and Master Rookie, you have instilled within this knight an unshakable resolve. He bows low and bids you all a good evening. Sorry, nostalgic for the friends I've sent home. Uh. It's just not the same, you know? It's not the same. Once again, we head to the Moonlight Alcove. I swear that's a well, and I keep thinking it has, like, balloons attached to it. Once again, find yourself in the serene walkways of the Moonlight Alcove. Here you can await this the time until the stars deign to shine for you again. Oh yeah, I need to check this fucking thing. Blaspheming. I love her. Uh, 42. Okay, so... Rookie didn't actually contribute that much, since Jody took care of, like, 30%, which then upgraded to 33%, only to then have, you know, Rookie bump it up an extra 9%. So, less than half. Uh, it seems we're to wait until more stars shine again. This means I should have a bit of time to make preparations for the next stage of our plan. I'm guessing Volfrid's... I don't know his last name. I want to say Sandalwood, but that's like a candle. So, Pamatha's sisters are up. I still need to check in on uh, old Barkley there. He is going to be first, uh, if he's available. Uh, people I need to interact with. Pyrehearts, Essence, and Fate. In that particular order, it would be... Probably the Fate, then the Essence, then the Pyrehearts. I'm allowed to not care about the tempers and the withdrawn for a while. Don't much care about the accusers or the dissidents either. I'm a little hesitant to go off to the chastity because old Manly is a big old swinging bag of dicks, but I imagine we're going to get there at some point. And I'd prefer it if we got the whole 
he's demanding we lose our next right match out of the way before we see him on uh, the final one, since there's every possibility that will happen. Unfortunately, the Fates and the Pirates still have the worst records in the entire league. I'm dominating. How have I played 12 and everyone else has played 11? Hell, the Tempers have only played 9. As such, they have the best record. Well, them and the Withdrawn have the best record. And the Essence. But hey, what are you going to do? That's it for this time. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Talk to you later. Sure negotiators. See you around, ass clowns.